Ladies and gentlemen, Alolan Raichu is a Pokemon that like literally nobody uses, but it's incredibly strong and on the right team is so fun to play with and can really just put holes in teams. Today I've got a really good match for you where the true power is unleashed of our little pancake loving buddy. And if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I'm on my way to 300k and it would really mean a lot and I do appreciate all the support lately. Let's get into the match. All right, so my opponent is gonna go ahead and lead off with their Lucario as I decide to toss out the wrong dude and Furret is looking at a bad matchup here. Uh, however, Furret ain't scared of shit. I'm gonna end up going for the trick. Now my thought process is Lucario has a pretty safe opportunity to go ahead and try to set up on Furret. So I'm thinking maybe I trick it a Choice Scarf as it goes for a setup move and then it's stuck into that and then basically Furret might, you know, potentially get to do something here other than die. So I give it my Choice Scarf and as it turns out, this thing just goes straight for the Aura Sphere. So now I've essentially just equipped this thing with a Scarf, meaning it's locked into the Aura Sphere, which at least is good to know. Um, but Furret does go down turn one and, uh, you know, that's honestly fine because I got a trick in my back pocket and we're ready to set this bad boy up. So I'm going to go into uh, the Pin Kerchief. Just a pointy little dude, just a little... Just a little stickler here, who ordinarily doesn't look very threatening, however that electric surge is exactly what we're looking for. That's going to pair super well with Alolan Raichu's Surge Surfer, so now I'm thinking I can go for a Thunderbolt in the electric terrain, can actually get some pretty solid damage on whatever they might want to go into. But then I'm thinking, you know, Alolan Raichu actually looks like I have a great position here to grab some momentum, go for a memento on a potential switch, and then get Raichu in on an opportunity to set up. So they are going to end up switching out here. Uh, they're locked in the Aura Sphere, and they decide to go into a better matchup, which is going to be the Galarian Slowking. So, this thing comes in with his crazy-ass crown looking evil as shit, and I decide to just basically go ahead and off myself. Pinkurchin taking one for the team here. It's going to drop uh, their special attack and physical attack. And uh, I'm feeling confident that with the Terrain Extender, Raichu should have enough Electric Surge to, uh, to do what I need it to do. So... The Memento is going to basically make it so the Slowking is no longer a threat kind of at all. And I can bring in Shred Chew, who is absolutely about to shred it up on some electric terrain. So I come out, and at this point I'm thinking I can definitely go for the Nasty Plot for free. That's the reason why Pincursion has that pivot with the Memento. Essentially it allows Raichu to be able to take a hit. And if you can get a Nasty Plot up, boosting that special attack two stages, uh, plus my speed being doubled uh, due to the Surge Surfer, Alolan Raichu is kind of a monster, especially with all the coverage I have. So, uh, they're going to stay in and just end up going for the Toxic. That is a little bit of a bummer, because what that does is kind of just puts Raichu on a bit of a timer here. Uh, paired that with my Life Orb, I'm going to be taking damage every turn, and it's going to exponentially grow with that Toxic. So, I got to start getting some stuff going, and Raichu is an absolute bomb ready to go off here. So, I'm going to end up going for the Terra. Now, the reason is, especially defensive uh, Slowking, if it was Assault Vest, could potentially take an attack. Uh, but seeing as it went for a Toxic there, we know it's not going to be Assault Vest. And essentially, I can go for the Terra Electric, which is going to two times my Multiplier on Stab, plus the Life Orb, plus the Electric Terrain Boost. And Thunderbolt is going to do a lot to basically anything on the damn planet. Now I look all goofy with a fucking light bulb on my head, but honestly, that is fine because Lolan Raichu is about to give him the business. So Thunderbolt is going to be able to knock this thing out. That is pretty much the most specially defensive Pokemon they have on their team, but like I said... Uh, all of those kind of things stacked against it. There's a there's a lot of damage on this dude's tail right now. So <laughs> I take some life orb damage. I take some poison damage. And uh, of course, there's not really anything on their team that they have that they can outspeed me. Now, Alolan Chu, even with a modest nature, actually has enough speed after the Surge Surfer to outspeed anything, even with a Choice Scarf, pretty much. Uh, so Lucario does come in. Remember, we did trick this thing a Choice Scarf, so it's got some pretty solid speed. Uh, but with the double from my Surge Surfer, I'm able to outspeed and a Thunderbolt in the terrain is going to be enough, uh, especially after that nasty plot to just knock this thing out. So try to use my Choice Scarf against me, but it's not quite going to work. And Raichu takes another victim, building up a nice little, little electric kill streak over here. We do take some Life Orb Recoil again, and the poison is starting to stack up. And it looks like we have about two more attacks in us. But... You know, being down four to six essentially at the beginning of the match looked like a bad situation, but this is exactly why you do it. So now they bring in the free switch and they decide to go into the uh, the, the easy bake oven Rotom, where I do have the coverage with the surf here because we are surfer, baby. I'm going to go for that surf. Uh, it's basically here for ground types, but, you know, also works against microwaves and that is going to take care of the Rotom. So uh, that is absolutely insane. We just love the coverage that this thing can get. So if you set up the Alolan Raichu, you're gonna have a good time. 
But you're gonna have a bad time if you poison, because I take some life orb and a poison damage, which puts me essentially to the point where I have one more attack left in me. And without them having any priority, it kind of just comes down to basically what do they want to sack at this point. So they're gonna go into the Braviary, and here I decide to go for the Psychic. The reason is, if they went for a Terra Ground on my Electric attack, that would be bad news. Plus, I know the Psychic still kills regardless. Uh, it is still stat boosted. I have a public service announcement. There's been so many YouTube commenters saying stuff about stab after Terra. If you, even if you Terra into pure Electric type, I still get the boost from my original type stab, and that is how Terra has worked always. So literally, you don't need to just use the type that you Terra into. You still maintain your original stab. So. Unfortunately, I do basically knock myself out to the life orb, uh, but not after Raichu has been able to do some insane damage. Plus, the best news about the whole situation is Pinkurchin's Electric Surge is still up, meaning I can go into basically the second weapon that I have on this team, which is going to be the Drift Blim, uh, who does come in on this Electric Surge and is able to pop my Electric Seed, which not only gives me a defense boost, but also activates my Unburden ability, meaning now Drift Blim has a doubled speed, and uh, when you're playing on a pile of lemonade, you're having a fast time out here, especially uh, with the Drift Blim. So, he goes into Polyrath here, I can just basically Acrobatics, does not quite finish this thing off, uh, but the only thing it can really do is fire off an Ice Punch, and again, uh, with that defense boost, it doesn't even do half. So, Drift Blim is still benefiting from the Electric Terrain as well. One more Acrobatics does take care of the Polyrath, and now that's going to bring in the last Pokemon, which is going to be the Charizard. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to get up any Stealth Rock at this point in the match, so Charizard gets to come in basically scot-free. But, you know, Drift Blim still has another trick under his sleeve, of course. So Charizard comes in, and uh, Electric Terrain does go away, does not matter at this point because I already have my uh, Unburdened Boost. And at this point, I know I'm faster than Charizard regardless, and he has to go for some damage here. Uh, so he's actually going to end up going for the Terra as well. He is going to tear this thing into fire. When you tear it into a type of your uh, Pokemon's original type, it basically does a 2 times multiplier versus if this thing went like steel, it would be 1.5 times. But this thing still maintains a flying stab. Hopefully this is cleared up shit for you guys. But I go for a Destiny Bond. Um, I am able to outspeed. Knowing that this thing is going to take me out, I can Destiny Bond and essentially just take it with me. So the Fire Fang is going to be enough after the Terra to take me out, but the Destiny Bond comes in clutch. And Drift Blim basically finishes off the match and is able to kind of just sweep up the rest of, of the Mons that Raichu wasn't able to, to quite take with him. So that's going to be the end of the match there. I thought it was just a fun showcase uh, for how when Alolan Raichu goes right, how it, can, uh, how it can really change a match. So thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate all the support on these videos, for real. I've been spending a lot more time trying to, uh, trying to make these for you guys, and I appreciate you. So thank you guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.